sink 300 China fishing ships who sailed off South America coast. Thank you. 
Shalom. I'll start off foremost by giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yosha Bashem Rakadash. Salutation to the elders and apostle GMS groups and ones alike. Teach 100% true. Shalom Brakatham to them. Double honors to the elders and apostle GMS groups and ones alike. Teach 100% true. Shalom Brakatham to them. Give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Rakadash. That was a. Um, a U.S. defense video relating to U.S. warns um, it was sink 300 um, Chinese fishing boats related to off the coast of uh, South America. I'll get some scriptures. This will be, um, we'll get um, Psalms 37. Psalms 37 and um, 37 and 9 For evil doers shall be cut off But those that wait upon the Lord They shall inherit the earth So that's what's going to happen to the evil doers man. It relates to the, um, the righteous and the elect The evil doer is going to be cut off It relates to the wicked We'll go to um, James 4, 1 and 4 Before I go to James 4 and 1, um, 4, 1 through 4, I'm going to go to James 3 and 16. Is it James 3 and 16? Um, For where envy and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. That relates to pretty much... Um, um, Envy, selfish ambition, which equals disorder. You know, it's envy, selfish ambition. Put that with um, James 4, 1 through 4, which I'm going to read. And um, selfish ambition leads to one's own destruction, man, because they'll literally do and do anything to get what they want. So that's going to be there to their own demise. And envy and all these envy, contention, and strife just leads to that. You know what I mean? So that's... Um, Ultimately, that chapter leads to the true faith will control the tongue, man. It relates to, um, it relates to controlling the tongue. And also, I'm going to read 4.1, um, which complement that. 4.1 through, um, um, James 4.1 through 4. For whence comes wars and fighting among you, come they not hence, even your lust that war in your members. Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have. And cannot obtain. It relates to that um that self that envy and that um, selfish ambition to do what you to do um which to do what's necessary um to do what's necessary for you to get to the top at any means at any cost. Um, three, ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss, and ye may consume it upon your lust. Ye, adulter, ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that a friendship of the world is an enmity which is an enemy with Yahweh. Whosoever therefore be a friend be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. And this relates to rebuking of worldliness, the wisdom, the, the false uh, wisdom, uh, wisdom of worldliness, and pretty much um, of your own knowledge, man, earthly knowledge, rebuking those things. Um... I want to go to um, Matthews 24. It's Matthews 24, Luke 21, Mark 13, they're the times we're living in. This is Matthew 24. Matthews 24 through 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in different places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. 
got nation against nation. U.S. is threatening Chinese uh, fishermen that will sink 300. So that's nation against nation relating to uh, off the off the coast of uh, South, uh, South America. So you have all these tensions relating to these countries, man. And these are the beginnings relating to the birth pangs and beginnings of sorrows. Number, um, I'll get um, Luke 21. Luke 21, I want to read 9 and 10. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not by and by, because all these things are the beginning, and these things must come to pass. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And that's what we have in that division. Um, Relating to, I believe, Matthews uh, 10, 34, For I come not to, uh, to, uh, to send peace, but a sword. It relates to that, that, that strife and contention, that spirit of contention. Um, number 10, Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Um, I'll read 11 and, er and great earthquakes shall be in different places famine, pestilence, and fearful sightings great signs and shall there be from the heavens so different things that's happening pretty much 2nd address 9 and 2 the Lord is beginning to visit what he's made so different things are happening all over the world let's go to um, let's go to uh, Mark 13 13, um, this is number 7, I'll read 7 and 8, and when ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars, be, be ye not troubled, for such things must need be, and the end shall not be, because this is all the beginning, for nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in different places, and there shall be famines, troubles. And there's a lot of troubles going on all over the world here in America and, and abroad. Um, and there, I'll read it again. For the nation shall rise against nation and kingdom, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in different places, and there shall be famines and troubles. There are they; these are the beginnings of sorrows, and it relates to the birth pangs relating to that woman in travail. She's doing her pregnancy stage. When she's the pregnancy, when it finally the baby comes out, or symbolically relating to Yahweh shall come in back. But right now these are the beginning stages. So all these things must come to pass. This is all in red letter that was that Yahweh shall had had um had told relating to the things that was gonna come to pass. Relating to prophecy and relating to the end times. Um Let me go to Matthew's um 1034, let me get that one. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but the sword. That's what is judgment. And ultimately, that spirit of division, man. Where nation against nation, kingdom against people, a kingdom against kingdom, city against city, people against people. You know, that the spirit of division where people are, going, are not going to get along. So that spirit is, is being set. For I, for I am come to set man a variance against father and the daughter against his, her mother and the daughter-in-law against uh, her mother-in-law. Pretty much um, in, uh, internal brethren dissension and strife and contention. I'll just read the rest. 36, a man's foe shall be, shall be they of his own household. Now it relates to kin and brethren pretty much being against themselves. But overall, the spirit of division, contention, civil unrest is beginning. We're in the stages of that. These are precursors of that. And these nations and nations and kingdoms and kingdoms are rising up against one another. And that being said, this was something short. Um...
Give all praise to Yahweh. Bashem Yahshua. I hope this benefit in some way or help someone. Give all praise to Yahweh. Bashem Yahshua. Bashem Rakadash. Shalom. Thank you.